overall, the food in Uruguay is great. A lot of people from Uruguay actually descend from Italy, so they have kind of a, an Italian kind of theme. They use a lot of pasta, noodles, uh, ravioli, things like that. So I really like the food a lot. Um, they do cook with a lot more grease than we do <laughs> in the U.S., so my stomach had a little bit of a tough time adjusting to that, but once I did, I loved it. It was great. In addition to the pasta, they eat a lot of like rice and black beans. and It's definitely not Mexican type food though. I kind of thought that it would be because I guess I just ignorantly assumed that all of South America would kind of be the same as Mexico. I don't know, but it's definitely not. Some people there in Uruguay don't even know like what a taco is, you know, <laughs> but the food is great and there are a couple specific foods that I really liked. One is called a milanesa. It's basically like a thin breaded steak and it's really good. <laughs> Some places will even embellish them a little bit more and will put like ham and like melted cheese on top. I don't know, they're just super good. There's another food that they have there. It's called the alpha whore. Uh, that's spelled A-L-F-A-J-O-R. And so that's just how they pronounce it in Spanish. But alpha whores are basically, they're basically like a mix between a cookie and a cake. I don't know how else to describe it. They're super yummy. It's like that big. It's like a three, sometimes four layer kind of cookie. The layers on the inside, a lot of times they'll use uh, dulce de leche which is kind of like caramel in the alpha whores and it's all just covered in chocolate. They're just super good. They have lots of different kinds and oh as far as like crazy foods I ate while I was there um, luckily I didn't have to eat too many crazy things but I did try a couple interesting things including uh, chicken heart intestines, cow intestines, and also cow kidney. Some things like that. I didn't really like them a whole lot, but it was cool just to kind of try them out, you know, <laughs> just so you can say that you have, I guess. So, But overall, food is great in Uruguay. I love it. It's a pretty safe country overall. Um, I had one or maybe two companions who had been robbed before, but I had never, I've never had any bad experiences there as far as like safety goes or or being, you know, mugged or anything like that. It's pretty safe overall. I mean, in the more urban areas, um, there are some places where you know to stay out of, but other than that, you know, safety is not really a problem. Spanish in Uruguay is a little bit different than Spanish in other countries. They have a specific dialect that's called Castellano. Um, the most noticeable difference with that dialect is Whenever you have a double L or a Y syllable, you would pronounce that with a sh, like a SH sound instead of a, a, like a Y sound like they do in Mexico. So the word street in Spanish is spelled C-A-L-L-E. And in Mexico, for example, people would pronounce that calle, but in Uruguay, they would pronounce that caixe. One of the differences in the, in the Spanish in Uruguay is a specific phrase that they have, which is dale. You know, like in Spain, they say vale, you know, just to express like approval or consent or, you know, okay, you know, just like that, kind of like we say in English, like, okay. In Uruguay, they say dale instead. It's, you know, people just say that all the time. And also one thing they say a lot, we say um, a lot <laughs> when we're trying to gather our thoughts or don't know what to say next. That specific word in Uruguay, they say este. So they'll say, they'll think and they'll, they'll say este, you know, like that. So I don't know, that's kind of one of the examples of the language um, in Uruguay. Para los que conocí en Uruguay, quiero decir que les extraño. Um, pienso en ustedes todavía. Uh, Disfruté muchísimo el tiempo que, que tuve con ustedes.